friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel, here with a very anticipated, I feel like, video. Maybe not. Maybe you weren't waiting for this, but I'm excited for it. I am here today to give you my library tour. So the library is not complete. That's going to be our first caveat here. It is as complete as it's going to be currently, probably until sometime next year. But I feel like it's finally in a place that I can share it with you and I feel comfortable sharing it. Uh, I will show off my office more as I work on that in my vlogs as I've been doing because that's, that's going to take longer. But this is my dedicated library room and I am so excited about it and I'm so excited to show it to you. So one of the things I wanted to do was also show you a snippet of this room before. <laughs> my members have seen this. I posted a house tour for them when we first moved in and um, this room was a lot. There was pink walls and there was a really gross carpet. So that's part of also why this has taken most like nine months to happen because we had to get new flooring put in and all these things come together to create this space. So I just want to share like the vision I have here is like uh, really crisp, clean shelves. Um, I do eventually want to do like some molding on here, but this isn't like our final home, so it's hard to do the built-in look. So I'm playing with ideas on how I can achieve that without attaching things fully to the wall. Um, but <laughs> one of the goals here is, one of my favorite colors is pink, if you didn't know. I know you might be surprised, but like literally one of my all-time favorite colors is pink. So the, the goal for the vibes here was kind of whimsy goth, but not like, pink academia whimsy goth. Those are like my buzzwords, I guess. Um, and I want like a really cool gallery wall over my couch, which is in progress right now. It, I have one, you'll see it in a minute. But um, the gallery wall like are pieces I've made for myself and purchased. I will link to everything I can down below. And I can try and figure out a way to put up the big portrait that I designed like off of a free use art uh, for y'all if anybody wants it. Like email me if you want it, I can send it to you. Um, yeah, so I did that and I bought like some Sailor Moon prints and some Ted Lasso stuff and like the art wall is like a slow progression where I'm buying bits and pieces as I find them and I love them. I think the big centerpiece of the room is this pink couch that I bought though, which <laughs> is the love of my life. I love this freaking couch. It's also probably the most expensive thing in this room. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's do a quick walkthrough. How about that? And then I'll talk about specific pieces as we get to them. This is my landing zone, so I put um, books I'm unhauling, books I've recently purchased or gotten here. This is right now just some storage. These are prints that are going up in the office. And then we just have an empty shelf and of course the bees. There's my ring light in the corner. This is always up, which is like one of my favorite things that I've done. So I'm able to just come in here and quickly film. This is a furniture piece I got from Target that I really like. This stores some things, so I keep like my mic in here for podcast. <laughs> I currently, until I get to my long boxes in my partner's room, her, I'm holding my soccer comics down there. Just little things like that. That has some bedding in it on the other side. Because this couch actually pulls out into a twin size bed. So that's really nice. Like when my nephew visits, I set this up for him. Um, and then we come over here to the gallery wall. And this is the art piece that I added, like the shush I'm reading to. All the frames are Walmart or at home. There's my pig, my blanket, bat pillow, cap. Then we come down here. These are just little moon tables. I actually got these really cheap on eBay uh, for over half price. Then we come into my manga collection.
And then this is my view while I'm filming. All right, so the biggest thing in here for me is that I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to be able to sit in here and read, which is what I do a lot of the time. This is one of my favorite spots in the house to come sit and read, and it's just kind of my space to be a little girlier than I might be in a shared space with my partner, that they don't, they don't really care <laughs> how girly a space we have is. Uh, that's not really like their thing. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, will do a full like manga collection tour when the rest of my manga come in from Heather over here at Booktubes for y'all, where I showcase all of the manga I own. And I can do a dedicated bookshelf tour if you're interested, but honestly, like most of this is books I've read and loved. Um, there's a couple on here that are unread. But there's not a bunch, so it's up to y'all if you want to do that. And uh, yeah, I am just really, I'm really happy with my library. I hope, I hope you like it. I hope you think it's pretty. I'm excited to keep adding to my gallery wall and to just have um, more books. Like I will eventually obviously fill in the bottom shelves and stuff. For now, I'm happy with where I'm at in my collection though, because I have room <laughs> to grow again, which is great because before I was basically packed out to the gills. Um, I didn't I didn't have any more space so I love that I have more space I am getting the toppers for the rest of the Billy bookcases as well to expand them up a little bit for the most part though The library is basically done. It's gonna just like I said have a couple bits and pieces here and there We might add some trim things like that. I might swap out the little mini bookcase eventually But I'm just I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little room my little library room But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I, I hope you liked it. I've just been it's been so fun creating my dream library space um I think the only thing I would change is I wish the room was a little bigger <laughs> but who doesn't have that wish right who doesn't want more book space so uh yeah let me know your thoughts uh on the space and if you have a dedicated library room or reading nook space because I think it's just so nice to have somewhere we can go as readers that like is always our reading spot at least for my brain it works really well so yeah that's everything I hope you enjoyed seeing a little before and after and everything else if you made it this far, leave me a pink heart emoji in the comments. And I will have links to anything I can link to in the description box. Um, if you have any questions about specific pieces, let me know. I'm happy to tell you where I got them. Uh, and I will talk to y'all very, very soon. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for